Good morning uh, and welcome back to Northern Norway. Uh, as you can see today I'm back in the forest with my uh, red squirrel hide uh, and I uh, told you in the in another video that uh, the roof collapsed in uh, during the winter due to heavy snow so today I'm going to fix uh, the roof. Uh, but anyway, I brought my camera with me because even if I'm building here, the squirrel might show up and then I'm, I'm ready to take some pictures and some videos. Uh, so, but first in this video, I just uh, want to show you um, uh, the height. Uh, first, I will take the old roof uh, down and when I've done that, then I will show you the height, how it looks from the inside and my thoughts about it and uh, hopefully I will show you also some uh, new images of the squirrel and, uh, and maybe some birds, we will see. Um, but anyway, now uh, I'm uh, start fixing uh, the roof and uh, in the meanwhile uh, when I'm taking down the old roof I will show you uh, uh, a few images uh, I've taken actually last uh, last uh, weekend. I've just been here putting uh, out some uh, nuts and uh, was just a couple of minutes here but the squirrel showed up right away. So I show you a few uh, images from uh, and videos from uh, last weekend and then uh, I will show you the rest of the hide. So please stay with me. Um, I removed the old roof from my photo height and I'm ready to uh, fix a new uh, roof. Um, as you can see this is a very simple height. Uh, all these trees I used here, they're already chopped down so I didn't chop down any trees to build this height. But uh, some, uh, uh, I think it was my uh, wife's uncle who chopped down some trees here because the Force got a little bit too dense, so he want to lighten it a bit uh, up. Uh, so I use these kind of trees uh, to build the walls and also uh, for the roof. Um, this is the front of the height, so I can look outside uh, right uh, and uh, where I put all the nuts. And uh, I'm just using uh, the camouflage blanket, so I don't have a solid wall with a hatch where I can. Uh, put through the camera. I just use uh, this um, camo blanket, and it works. Uh, in in the forest, it's uh, mainly very dark, and when I'm sitting inside here, this is quite dark side, dark in inside uh, this of uh, height, so the animals won't see me, uh, if, uh, as long as I don't have some uh, white uh, white uh, clothes on me. Um, 
these boards here I'm using uh, to, to close it up and uh, but this I just use in winter time so then I can just remove uh, board by board accordingly uh, to the height of the snow in winter time uh, very often we have this snow up to here in, uh, in the forest and then I can just remove a few boards put out my camera and I'm in a very nice angle but in summertime I just remove them and I just use this um, camo blanket uh, because of the that the roof collapsed, the old roof. Uh, it's very wet here right now, so uh, I need to to wait for uh, some weeks before I can use this height again. It's, uh, st it's, we are now in 22nd of May, and it's still uh, not very warm. And actually, there's some uh, snow in the air today. Uh, it's right. I think it's four degrees right now, so it's not very warm. So it takes some time before this uh, ice will dis disappear and the ground will be dry. But as soon as the ground is dry, uh, I will uh, use uh, this height again. So um, right now, I am uh, just had to start with my uh, new roof. Yes, uh, I finished the roof. Uh, I hope uh, the new roof will be more um, stable and last uh, uh, last a winter. Um, I was hoping for that the squirrel maybe showed up. I heard the squirrel. The squirrel was high up in the uh, in the tree, but uh, I probably made too much uh, noise, so he he didn't come. So, but anyway, uh, the height is now finished, but I had to wait um, some weeks before I can use it. The ground is so wet uh, and the colors are not uh, so very nice either now in the forest. So I wait a couple of weeks and then um, I will try it out again. But maybe we take a short uh, trip inside the, the height so you see how it looks from the inside. That's the inside from my photo height. Um, as you can see, uh, I have a really opened uh, front, just a camo blanket. Um, most heights have a wall and then you have a small hatch uh, which you put through your camera and then you have a small window so you can see what's happened outside but then there's very often things happening uh, to your left and to your right and you have no chance and don't see what's happened you just heard, hear sound with this opening uh, I see the whole forest in front of me even a bit higher up in the in the trees and very often the, the squirrel is high up in the trees before the squirrel comes down I also have two windows to my right and two windows to my left. Uh, so I, I know, I see what's happened to both of my sides, right and left, and I can even take uh, pictures out of it. I was hoping uh, that the red squirrel maybe comes down here while I'm building. Last summer when I'm building this foot height, uh, the squirrel comes down and eating nuts while I was building. But uh, today uh, I heard the squirrel. He was a bit higher up in the in the trees, uh, but he didn't come down. So he didn't want uh, uh, come down to uh, today. But uh, we will see. Uh, he he will come back, and uh, I will be able to take some pictures and videos uh, uh, later. So anyway, if you like this video, then.
gunning. There was a bird of prey. But he's gone again. He flew away. I'm not sure what kind of bird, or it's most likely a sparrow hawk. Uh, it may be also a goose hawk. I don't know. I know we have a goose hawk here, but uh, not last summer, but the two summers before, we had a sparrow hawk who had his nest. Um, 50 meters in this direction uh, but I haven't seen the sparrow hawk uh, last summer oh, he's gone uh, but anyway um, so uh, I need to try to find out how I get this one in front of my camera uh, I probably need to lay out some bait and uh, hopefully he comes we will see so but, but anyway uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button or even uh, leave a comment. Every comment is highly appreciated. Uh, now I'm just uh, picking up my things and going home. At the end of this video, I show you a few uh, pictures and videos of the squirrel from last, uh, last summer. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you again. Bye.